Welcome to this BI Quick Tip. For more background on the BI tool, please visit our Help Files website. In this video, we'll show you the Resource Utilization Dashboard. This dashboard will allow the ITS team to drill down into the metrics provided by resources. It gives insights into operational and project work, as well as a variety of data on availability and capacity towards those specific types of work. With updated and refreshed information nightly, we can see this being both relevant and beneficial for managers and team leads, but also providing significant value for any ITS resource as well. From here, we'll hide the page's pane by clicking this. Then, we'll start at the top from left to right with the toolbar icons. File allows you to do a variety of options such as saving a copy or even printing a page of the dashboard. Export allows you to export the entire dashboard to PowerPoint, PDF, or Excel. We'll skip over these three features of the dashboard since it is not integrated yet and jump straight into comments. Comments allow you to post a general comment inside of the dashboard. Note that everyone with access to this dashboard will see your comments once posted. The reset button can be used if you make any change on the dashboard. Click it and then click reset to change the dashboard back to its default values. You can use the bookmark icon here to add a personal bookmark to this dashboard. The view icon allows you to change the look of the dashboard as well as adjust contrast colors. The refresh button will update your dashboard's data while the star icon will add this dashboard to your favorite. Aside from the toolbar, we can use this here to quickly change all the data we look at to either operational or project work. Now, let's move on to the slicers by clicking here. You can filter by fiscal year, different organizational units, business service, project or demand, and manager or resource name. Clicking the filter icon here clears all your selections back to default. I'll filter by a manager specific team to use as an example. I can quickly search for a specific manager by typing the name in the search bar and selecting it. I'll click the slicer icon again to hide the window. To select a specific resource's data, you can click on them and the data will change accordingly. If you want to see your entire team's data, be sure to deselect any resources and the data will change accordingly as well. If you want to select and see more than one resource's data at a time, hold the control button and select the resources you need. Moving forward, we'll talk about each visual on the dashboard. First up is the resource utilization visual. This shows us the utilization of a resource or team for a specific time period. In this case, we have the default FY21 selected and we are seeing the combined utilization for everyone in John Chalet's team. The colored bar here represents logged effort by each resource. Each resource has a capacity of 130 hours per month and is trying to reach their target over here. The target is based off of allocations which are distributed by managers. Managers allocate who the resource is, the time for that resource, and when they want them to spend that time for any work-related tasks. One thing to note is that if you don't see a line for the target, that is because your target exceeds your capacity. In other words, your target is more than that 130 hour per month capacity. Next, we have the logged effort versus allocation visual. Each bar here represents the actual logged effort for that month. The dots on the line graph represent allocations for each month, and the dotted line here represents total capacity. Hovering over any of the bars will display a tooltip window of information of allocation and logged effort. This visual allows you to quickly see if a resource is hitting their target per month, and you can compare the data to their total capacity as well. Furthermore, we have the Resource Capacity Variance Table. This table shows you the difference between your logged efforts and your capacity while highlighting certain things for you. For example, if you have a negative number, it means you logged in lower than your capacity. If you have a positive number, it means you logged in more than your capacity. 
In addition to that, the shading of colors are there to draw your attention to resources logging a large amount of hours. The darker the color shading, the more you should be cautious. Managers should take note of this to make sure a resource is okay with balancing their workload. The dark red color is the highest it goes to, to really alert you that a resource may be overworked. The small icons here are to notify you that a resource has logged in a lower amount against their capacity. Dashes indicate a decent amount under capacity, while these down arrows indicate a very low amount against capacity. Be sure to take note of your workers to see if they remember to log in their effort, if you should assign them more work, or if they are logging in the wrong amount of effort for a related task. One thing to note is that the down arrow will always show for the beginning of the next month until a resource has logged in their effort. This is normal. Scrolling down, we can see the availability chart. If a new project comes in and you need to apply a resource to that project, you can use this chart to determine exactly that. You will see your staff here on the right, and hovering over any of the bars will be able to show you who is available, how much they are available, and when they are available. Lastly, we have the allocation visual which will quickly show you the breakdown of a resource or team's operational time, project time, and availability. Hovering over the bar will also show you some quick statistics of it as well. The numbers here reflect the amounts of operational and projects assigned to the resource or team selected. If you would like to see a more detailed breakdown of a team or individual resource, you can click here. The list displays by month the allocation and logged efforts while breaking down the data into project and operational work. Click here to expand a resources list and you will see the full breakdown of what they are allocated to as well as how much time is spent towards that allocation. The pie chart over here only shows logged effort and you can hover over it to see a tooltip window of data as well. Additionally, scrolling down will allow you to see the availability chart in a much bigger view with the total capacity line as well. To see the information page of the dashboard, we can click on the I button here to find the report description, change log, and plenty more. We can find the help files video walkthrough by clicking the link here. We can also get here by clicking on information on the left. Thank you for watching this episode of the BI Quick Tips series. You can find all BI Quick Tip videos on the Help Files website. Until next time.